In this video, I'm going to make this administrative assistant resume example using Microsoft Word. It's a simple yet professional layout that encourages hiring managers to read through. Now, if you want to save some time and want to download matching resumes and cover letter templates, then click on the link in the description for more information. Now, I will also provide you with tips on how to put your qualifications on the resume to make it better than 9 out of 10 other resumes based on solid research. Now, without further ado, let's start making this resume. First of all, I want to start with the margins. Go to the layout tab, margins, and pick the normal or narrow margin settings. Now, I would advise you to pick the narrow settings for some extra space to avoid cropped sentences and keep everything on a one page document. After that, we go to the insert tab, shapes, and pick a rectangular shape. Cover the header area and make it align. You can use this option to properly align the shapes. Next up, we go to the Shape Fill drop down menu. Make sure you've selected the shape, or else these options are not visible. Okay, so you can choose a suitable color and fill the whole shape, or pick, for example, a colored outline without any shape fill. Now, let me zoom in a bit more. To include our personal information, we first need to add a text box. Enter your name and surname. Go to the Home tab to center it. Increase the font size to, let's say 24, and bold highlight it to make it stand out a bit more. Underneath you need to enter the city and state you live in, email address, phone number, and LinkedIn profile. By the way, it's very important to add a link to a comprehensive LinkedIn profile. Research shows that it can increase your chances by 71% for landing an interview. Now align the shape and text box. Now as you can see, we need to detach the cursor from the shapes. Press the spacebar once and press enter a couple of times. Now let's divide the resume into sections, including a summary, experience, skills, education, and interests in caps lock. Now the sequence of these sections highly depends on your previous working experience and educational background. Now I would advise you to always put the best of above the fold. Now create two white lines in between each section, bold highlight summary, and center it. We also need to adjust the line spacing options. Go to the spacing settings and change these to 12 points before and 12 points after and press OK. Now if it turns out you need more text to fit on one page, you can easily reduce this afterwards. I also want to add some borders to visually separate these sections from the body text. Click on this little arrow icon and pick top and bottom borders in the drop down menu. Furthermore, pick in between the 13 to 16 point font size. I think that 14 looks fine. Next up, we need to place the cursor in the middle of the keyword and click the Format Painter twice. Select the other sections to paste the formatting. OK, and then we make sure to disable the formatting option. So let's start with the summary. Now, I would advise you to include this section if you have five or more years of working experience in administrative support or office management. Now mention some of your core strengths and highlights so far to attract the reader's attention. Now we want to list them in a table. Now go to the Insert tab Click on the table drop down menu and pick a 2 by 1 table. Now as you can see, the margins are not perfect, but we can change that. Go to the table layout, cell margins, and change the left and right windows to 0. Now there you go. Now let's insert some bullet points and strengths on the left side and some highlights on the right side. Now don't stress out if you lack experience or don't have many highlights in your career so far. If you manage to structure and format your resume somewhat similar as this one, you already have an advantage over many other resumes. Now once you've filled all the cells, I like to remove the borders. Now, in order to do so, select the whole table and go to Table Design. Click the table drop down and select No Borders. After that I want to center the summary text and put the Experience section closer to the summary. All right, that looks fine. Okay, so next up we have the experience section. Now let's say you have some experience as an administrative assistant and a company. 
also enter the city, state and employment duration on the right side. Now to put them on the right side, we need the ruler. Now if you don't see this option, you need to go to the view tab and enable ruler. Okay, let me show you what this option does. So if you place the cursor right here, click somewhere in the ruler to place a left tab stop and press tab. Drag this small arrow to change the position accordingly. Okay, let me add some working experience and fast forward a bit. Now I structured these sentences according to the PAR method, which stands for problem, action and results. Now that way you bring impact and purpose to your experiences. And same goes for using action verbs at the beginning of each sentence, like maintained, handled and received. Furthermore, do you notice how I quantified my experiences? A measurable metrics illustrate someone's value and improve your chances of getting that interview. Okay, let me copy and paste the whole paragraph and put the skills section a bit closer. And then we scroll down a bit. Okay, so in the skills section, we again want to include a table. So go to the insert tab, click on the table drop down menu, but this time we pick a three by one table. And of course, adjust the margins. All right, now before I add some soft and hard skills, research shows that applicants matched only 51% of the relevant keywords and skills on their resumes. Now, in order to know what kind of keywords you should be looking at, I would advise you to copy the job description, go to the free word cloud generator, and paste it right in there, and then click on generate cloud. Now once all the cells are filled, I want to properly align them. And at last we remove the borders. Okay, so for the next part, we need to add our educational background. So the university or school's name and degree. Now we also want to enter the city, date and time spent in college on the right side. Now you can also add some subcategories and list information on GPA, extracurricular activities, Dean's list, honors, and or relevant coursework. Okay, so once that's finished, we move on to the interest section. Now, although the interest section is not a requirement, I would advise you to include it in your resume because it takes just a couple of words to show the human side behind the resume. Now, that doesn't mean you should add some fluffy buzzwords and cliches like 51% of the applicants include in their resumes, but try to grab the reader's interest by making it relevant or relatable. Now, if you want to come across as someone that is adventurous, enter, for example, traveling, and also inform the reader about your travel ambitions. Or perhaps you like yoga, and attend weekly yoga sessions. Or what about watching Netflix? Include some of your favorite series and write something along the lines of Pinch Watched, Homeland and Stranger Things. Now there's a big chance that the reader watched one of these as well, so you already have some mutual interests. Anyway, I hope you get the idea. Now, it's important to keep your resume short, concise and to the point. Recent data shows that the ideal resume length is in between 475 to 600 words and a stunning 77% of the resumes were outside of that range. Also, make sure you go to the word preferences section and check your document on spelling and grammar. Lastly, I also want to emphasize the importance of properly sending your resume. Unless instructed otherwise, save your resume as a PDF or Word document attached to the email and save it accordingly. So, name, surname, resume. Now that way, the reader will know that it is yours without even opening the file. Now these little things prove your attention to detail and can make the difference between getting that interview or not. Okay, so before I end this video, I would like to know if you watched the whole video. And I'm even more curious if you actually got the administrative assistant position. Leave an emoji with glasses if you watched the video till the end. And leave an emoji with sunglasses if you got the job. I want to thank you for watching and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll respond as soon as possible. And if this video was helpful, then a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye!